Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald Wedlock. In the last episode, we defeated Sydney, the first member of the Elite Four, and in this episode, we are going to take on the second member. Before we do that, we need to do some prep work and get the team ready. So let's check out the team real quick. Last time we used Barney and Maryland. This time we're going to use Zigglypuff and Teal. So let's just switch these guys around real quick. And what I want to do is actually take the experience share off Rainbow, and I want to put it on Maryland. So I want Maryland to get experience for the next member of the Elite Four. I will be using Barney and Maryland again after I take on the second member. So yeah, let's give the experience share to Maryland so we can get a lot of experience in the next battle. And what I want to do is take this item off uh, Zigglypuff and give it the spell tag. So as you guys know, I have Shadow Ball on uh, on Zigglypuff. That was for the seventh gym, but it will come in handy against the next set of train or the next uh, Elite Four member. So there we go, pretty much ready. And yeah, let's just head into the next room. So we can take on the second member of the Elite Four. So I have a strategy planned out for this. And I'm hoping everything goes correctly with it. If it does, then I should get through here. No problem at all. If it doesn't go well, then I guess I'm kind of screwed. Because I don't have a backup plan. I'm pretty much banking on this. So let's just talk to this member of the Elite Four. Ha ha ha. I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to communicate or commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I've developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So... Come on, just try and see if you can inflict damage on my Pokemon. Well, if my strategy goes correctly, then I should probably one or two shot all your Pokemon. So, we'll see about that, Phoebe. Anyway, Phoebe is going to lead off with a Dusclops on level 48. Now, this Dusclops, she has a sort of good strategy with it. This Dusclops has, well, Dusclops altogether has the ability of uh, pressure, which means you're going to use 2 PP every time you use a move. So, what I'm going to do is use... Uh, few X attacks, so I have three, so I'll use those three, get myself up to plus three in attack, as this thing goes for protect, so yeah, it's gonna try and protect stall you, or like protect and try and make you waste your PP, because if you do attack while well, it uses protect, it does take PP off you, so that's why I'm using uh, all this time to boost myself up with X attacks, and what I'm gonna do is uh, try and bait the protect and go for a cut, as it does go for a protect this time, so that is gonna, pre well, hopefully prevent it from getting off a double protect, which would voice PP of Shadow Ball, and it doesn't go for protect, so there we go, I pretty much called Phoebe's bluff on that one, and there we go, so just take out Dusclops at once, Shadow Ball, strategy has come into play, and let's just see if I can hold it off for the rest of the battle, so, next up is Banette, we do have a Bayonet of our own, and it's on level, well, this one's on level 48, I believe, so, or 49, anyway, what we're gonna do is Shadow Ball, pretty sure I should kill, I am at plus 3, I do have the spell tag to boost the power of Shadow Ball, and I get a critical hit. All right, sweet. There we go. So that's her second Pokemon down. She has three more remaining. And her next Pokemon is, well, after Marilyn gets up to level 47. That's sweet. Our next Pokemon is going to be Sableye. So Sableye has no real weakness. And this is the one Pokemon the strategy does not work on because it is a Ghost and Dark type, meaning uh, Ghost is only going to do neutral damage to it, but it should at least do over half, I hope. And there it is. So it's gone for double team. That can be annoying. If I don't hit the next one, I could be in trouble, or if it continues to use double team, I could be in trouble. But Zigglypuff just does not care, hits the Shadow Ball. And yeah, this is uh, pretty much just turning into Sweep here, or it's already turned into a Sweep, I think. I've already gone through three Pokemon without even being touched. So Bayonet is next, and Bayonet is on level 49, so let's go for Shadow Ball on this thing. And it's, uh, it's on the same level as the last one, I assume we should take it out with one Shadow Ball. And we do! So there we go, Shadow Ball takes it out. Meaning that Phoebe has one Pokemon left, and her final Pokemon is Dusclops again. This one, however, is on level 51. It's her strongest Pokemon, it's her highest level Pokemon. And what we're going to do is Shadow Ball it, and see if we one-shot. If we do, that's amazing, that is complete sweep. And we almost do, it has a little bit of HP left. As it goes for Earthquake, that's not going to kill me. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's going to heal up with a Lumberry. Even if she heals up, I can just, like, use an Aether... Or not Lumberry, a Citrus Berry. I have seven Shadow Balls left. I outspeed, and I hit that Shadow Ball. So, yeah. <laughs> Very underwhelming uh, second battle in the Elite Four. I've, I've just sort of swept the first two members. So, there we go. Phoebe has been defeated. And, uh, yeah, she's gone and lost somehow. I guess with Ghost Types, I totally smashed her up. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep. I'd like to show you how... I like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move to the next room. Alright, so with Phoebe defeated, 
that's pretty much going to do it for me. In the next episode of Pokemon Emerald Woodlock, we're going to be taking on the third member of the Elite Four, Glacia. So, at least thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. Catch you then.